ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಕ್ಶಾಪ್ ಒನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಡ್ರಾಮಾ ವಿ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ಅನದರ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಪ್ಲೇ ಮುದ್ರ ರಾಕ್ಷಸ ಬೈ ವಿಶಾಖ್ ದತ್ತ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಎಜ್ ವಿಶಾಖ್ ದೇವ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೀಕ್ ಮುದ್ರ ರಾಕ್ಷಸ ಸರ್ ಪಾಸೆಸ್ ದೇಮ್ ಆಲ್ Vishak Dutt or Vishak Dev is known by only Mudra Rakshasa, although he had written some more plays. We will take notice of them. In the prologue of Mudra Rakshasa, Vishak Dutt is introduced as the grandson of Samanta Vateshwar Dutt. So, Vateshwar Dutt was some feudal lord as Samanta and son of Maharaj Bhaskar Dutt. So, this shows that he belonged to royal family. And uh, in some of the manuscripts of Mudra Rakshasa, instead of Bhaskar Dutt, we have Prathu as the name of his father. But Prathu was also some king. We do not know about either Bhaskar Dutt or his father Vateshwar Dutt. No clue from the history. And uh, Vishak Dutt, being a creative genius, used his acquaintance and affinity, his acquaintance with and affinity to royalty in his plays. he also observed the dichotomies the pathetic conditions of his times he was a minute observer he had wonderful imagination so he describes various situations of life and various ups and downs in history and politics and particularly he is very sympathetic sympathetic to the life of middle class people the royal servants so in some verses he describes the agony and misery in the life of servants who are working with royal family he must have read a kind of dread and terror written on their faces and he gives a touching picture in his mudra rakshasa kanchuki in one of the asides of him says in mudra rakshasa betavyam rapate stata sachivato ragya stato vallavat please go to slide 2 so betavyam rapate one has to fear one has to be afraid of the king then be afraid of the ministers then be afraid of the persons who are favorable to him then anya bhyasht bhavanti ye bhune labdha pratishtha vita and then those agents of him who are working for him his psychophants the persons who surround him so one has to be afraid of those also ಧೆನ್ಯಾ ದುನ್ಮುಖ ದರ್ಶನಾದ ಧೆನ್ಯಾ ದುನ್ಮುಖ ದರ್ಶನಾದ ಅಪಲಪನೈ ದರ್ಶನಾಪಲಪನೈ ಪಿಂಡಾರ್ಥ ಮಾಯಾಸ್ಯತ ವಿತ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೇಸಸ್ ಅಪ್ವಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಉನ್ಮುಖ ದರ್ಶನಾಪಲಪನೈ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಅಪ್ಲಾಪ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿಟಿಯಬಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಪೆಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಧೆನ್ಯಾತ್ ಪಿಂಡಾರ್ಥಂ ಆಯಾಸ್ಯತ ಟೋಯ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬ್ರೇಟ್ ಸೇವಾಂ ಲಾಘವ ಕಾರಿಣೀಂ ಧೃತದಿಯ ಸ್ಥಾನೇಶ್ವೃತ್ತಿ ವಿದು ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಟು ಎನಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಎನಿ ವೇರ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಲಘು ಸೇವಾ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಘವ ಕಾರಿಣಿ ವೃತ್ತಿ ದಿ ವೈಸ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶ್ವವೃತ್ತಿ 
इट इज द लाइफ ऑफ ए डॉग कुत्ते की जिंदगी होती है किसी की चाकरी सो आउट ऑफ हिज ओवन ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ लाइफ और बिकॉज ही वॉज इन द फैमिली ऑफ सम फ्यूडल लॉर्ड्स सो ही मस्ट हैव एक्सपीरियंस हिमसेल्फ ऑल्सो दैट अटेंडिंग ए किंग मेक्स ए मैन मीन एंड मिजरेबल समटाइम्स सो दीज थिंग्स वी नो अबाउट हिज पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंसेज एंड हिज लाइफ एंड टू माई कैलकुलेशन विशाख दत्ता न्यू द होल हिस्ट्री ऑफ चंद्रगुप्त विक्रमादित्य फोर्थ फिफ्थ सेंचुरी ही हेज रिटर्न ए प्ले ऑन द लाइफ ऑफ चंद्रगुप्त विक्रमादित्य ऑल्सो विच इज अनफॉर्चुनेटली लॉस टू अस वी कैन नॉट से दैट मुद्रा राक्षसा इज हिज बेस्ट क्रिएशन टू मी इट एपियस दैट द अदर प्लेज ही रोट विच अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी हैव लॉस्ट दे वे आर रियली मास्टर पीसेज इन संस्कृत लिटरेचर मुद्रा राक्षस इट सेल्फ इज ए Uh, is a standard of his uh, glory as a playwright so he knew that chandragupta who assumed the title of vikramaditya after routing the shakas had killed his elder brother ramgupta modern historians did not believe that there was a king ramgupta later on some evidences were found As early as 1935, Jayashankar Prasad, who was writing Dhruva Swamini, was pointing out the whole history of Ram Gupta. He was giving evidences from inscriptions, from Vidisha inscriptions, and from Puranas and from other sources. But historians were not believing in him. He was also a great uh, genius, Jayashankar Prasad. Now some historians agree that there was a Ram Gupta in Sanskrit. there is a tradition uh, of describing ram gupta ban bhatta raj shekhar and several other authors describe that there was a king ram gupta he was killed by his younger brother chandra gupta <coughs> and his younger brother chandra gupta married the wife of this ram gupta it is very one of the greatest stories from history which vishak datta subjected in one of his plays devi chandra gupta it was a marvelous play some citations only are, are available some dialogues are cited by bhoj and uh, natak lakshan ratnakosh and other authors some verses are available so we can just imagine what a great play we have lost uh, on our history so there are there are several other historical plays mudra rakshasa perhaps is the earliest but he wrote devi chandra gupta another historical play which is a prakrana it is not a nataka as we noticed that uh, uh, Prachikatikam is a prakrana because the hero has not assumed. The hero has not been coronated yet. He is only the younger brother of the king Ram Gupta. So Chandra Gupta ruled between 375 uh, to uh, 413, and Vishakha Datta has closely read the history of Chandra Gupta Vikramaditya or Gupta period. So he must have been close to the period of period of Chandra Gupta. Either he is contemporary to Chandra Gupta. or he comes a little after because all these incidents he knows very closely the whole incidents how chandragupta went in disguise of a lady and killed that shak raja who was demanding dhru samini the wife uh, dhru devi actually dhru samini is the name given by jayashankar prasad his name her name uh, in devi chandragupta is dhru devi so to save the honor of his sister in law he went in disguise he dare to go uh, alone in a palki uh, to the camp of shakadipati and killed him he was a great warrior uh, so uh, after that some complications developed and chandragupta had to kill his elder brother also although they had lot of affection and love between them earlier so it so happened so we were not going into that history but since vishakdatta has written a play on that history so i believe that he was not time was he is not at a great distance from gupta period otherwise he might not have known uh, the the subtle details of the history of ram gupta and chandra gupta just as kalidasa has written a play on on the life of uh, agni mitra so pushya mitra the father of agni uh, agni mitra is a well known figure in history 
But Agnimitra is little known figure. He is hardly mentioned in Indian history, history books. And Kalidasa is very well aware of the whole uh, life of Agnimitra. So time-wise, Kal Kalidasa must not be at a great distance from Agnimitra. Otherwise, how does he know to whom Agnimitra was married and again uh, what relations he was having with, with the rulers of Videha and uh, other uh, rulers and how Pushimitra was sending a letter to him and what relations were develop developing between them, all this history. Why? Uh, how can he know? So, if there is a gap of six, seven centuries, it, it is difficult. How, how it is recorded? We don't have any record of Agnimitra anywhere else in the, in the same way. We don't have details of the life of Ramgupta. Some references and some inscriptions we do find. But uh, the record of the life of Ramgupta we don't have anywhere. So time-wise, Vishakadatta cannot be distanced, too much distanced from Gupta period, from the period of Chandragupta. And uh, in the Bharatvakya, Bharatvakya of Mudra, Raksha, Mudra Rakshasa, it is said, Chiramavatu, Chiramavatu Mahim Parthivas Chandragupta. May King Chandragupta rule over this earth, this Bharat Vasundhara, for long. There are variants to this reading. Parthivo Vanti Varma, Parthivo Ranti Varma, Parthivo Danti Varma. All these readings are there. But I think that he is writing a play about Chandragupta Maurya and uh, there is a pun on the name Chandra in the play itself. So he wants to keep the pun and he wants to eulogize the king who is almost a contemporary, perhaps a contemporary king Chandragupta Vikramaditya of the Gupta period to him. Therefore, the play is being performed, the play is being written during the period of the rule of Chandragupta Vikramaditya of Gupta period in 4th or 5th century. And Vishakadatta is expressing his ashi, his good wish for the King Chandragupta. So this is about the period of uh, Vishakadatta or Vishakadev. We need not refer to other views of Vintanis and uh, there are some scholars who have studied Mudra Rakshasa from the point of view of nomenclatures. So the nomenclatures which Vishakadatta has given in his play, they point out to his affinity or to his being in the Gupta period. The names of Brahmanas have Sharma added, uh, uh, suffixed with them. The names of Kshatriyas have Sen affixed to them. And Dasa is affixed to the names of Vaishyas and Shudras. This was the practice some scholars say in, during the Gupta period. And the whole vision for the country which Mudra Rakshas unfolds in the utterances of Chanakya or which is the vision embedded in the whole structure of Mudra Rakshasa, that was the vision of Gupta kings, that was the vision of Iskand Gupta, that was the vision of Samudra Gupta and particularly Chandra Gupta, whom perhaps Vishakadatta knew. So the whole spirit of Gupta period percolates Mudra Rakshasa. So therefore, I believe that Vishakadatta is in 5th century, 4th, 5th century, or maybe early 6th century, not beyond that. So this is the time. Uh, most probably, uh, later half of 4th century and first half of 5th century. About the place of Vishakadatta. If we find that he refers to the crop of paddy, cultivation of rice, he refers to the fields where paddy is being sown. Chiyate Balishasyapi Satshetra Patita Krishi Satshetra Patita Krishi Nashale Stamba Karita Vaptur Gunam Apekshate. It is slide 3. The Balishasyapi Satshetra Patita Krishi Chiyate. The seeds of rice sown even by a fool in a fertile land, they yield plenty of crop. Chiyate Krashi. See, stocking of the paddy crop. And now, Na Shale is Tambakarita. He has seen the plenty of crop growing in the fields, the paddy fields, 
So the growth of paddy in clusters does not depend upon the virtue of the sower. The virtue may be a punyatma, the, the, the sower or the farmer may be a punyatma or he may be a, any person. If the field is fertile and the seeds are sown, then plenty of crop the field will yield. So this description and then again in the third act also, <coughs> there is a description of Sharad Ritu, autumn season. So the paddy crop is ripe and the very beautiful description of autumn season. He is a lover of nature also. Although this play is, runs on, uh, on uh, intrigue, political intrigue and there are no occasions to engage in beauties of nature or in other romantic episodes. The, the play demands a, a very high level of intellectual activity. But here and there Vishakadatta looks at the nature and he describes the beauties of autumn season. So, Dadatya Shali Nam Avanati Mudare Sati Pade. The, the paddy crop that has grown in this season, Sharad Ritu, the, the autumn season is making the paddy stoop, paddy is stoop because of the plenty of uh, crop. The, the manjaris uh, have assumed the weight, they are weighty, so they are, they, they, have, they are bending down. So all these pictures show that he, was, he is living in an area where paddy uh, is sown in plenty. So maybe it is around Pataliputra because Pataliputra is the locale of is also the locale of Mutra Rakshasa. Vishakdatta had written four plays. Raghunanda Natak. It has been cited by Mammata, by Abhinav Gupta and some other authors. Some verses are available. Such great Acharyas are citing and they are appreciating Vishakdatta the, as the author of Raghunanda. It is a play on Ramayana theme and very beautiful verses. They, they cite from Raghavananda. Abhisarika Vanchitakam was a unique play and uh, marvelous design. What an imagination, what the height of imagination Vishakadatta has. Like Uttar Ram Charitam on the uh, post coronation history of Rama, Rama's Uttar Charita. In the same way, it is Udayana's Uttar Charita, Abhisarika Vanchitakam. Nobody can imagine that after Sapnavasavdattam, somebody will write an Uttar Sapnavasavdattam. Vishakadatta did it. And he conceived such a plot, wonderful plot, that Padmavati, that King Udayana has a son, a small boy from Vasavdatta, and that little boy is murdered. King Udayana is made in sorrow and the events take such a turn. There are persons who infar wrongly inform him that he suspects Padmavati. That Padmavati was a, was a party in the ploy of killing my son. So Padmavati uh, is so much hurt that she leaves the royal palace. She evaporates. After that Udayana comes to know that Padmavati had nothing to do with this conspiracy, then he is frantically searching after Padmavati. It's a very, uh, very intense play. The citations which we get, the way Abhinavgupta describes it, unfortunately we lost it. Uh, we have lost it. Ultimately they get united. And uh, Vishakdatta has his own conception of love. Vasa says that Yudhina could not love any other lady after loving once Vasudatta. But Vishakadatta says that he married Padmavati. Padmavati was younger and Padmavati loves him. So he starts loving Padmavati. And then Padmavati is trapped. She was a very simple uh, lady, unassuming lady. So this plot is developed by Vishakadatta. We do not, uh, do not know what source he had complete his own imagination or some other uh, folk tale maybe. But this was a, a, a unique play, equally unique you can say. Mudra Rakshas is also a unique play. 
and devi chandraguptam was a wonderful play and uh, it had a courtesan madhav sena as a character chandragupta is a, and dhruv devi dhruv swamini both of these are uh, great characters in sanskrit drama then we come to mudra rakshasa there is no time to discuss his other plays which are unfortunately lost also mudra rakshasa means the signature of rakshasa rakshasa's mudra signature chanakya whose ability and diplomatic skills are of very high order he is a man of uh, great intellectual caliber he lays out various traps and mechanizations to make chandragupta the supreme sovereign of india by winning over rakshasa so the main theme is that rakshasa who was the minister of last nanda was de- was dethroned and sent in exile or he left the kingdom and rakshasa is the last person who keeps loyalty to him who preserves his loyalty who preserves his memory a very passionate and noble character and vishakdatta has portrayed him in all his nobility a great characters mudra rakshasa rakshasa has a galaxy of great characters right from the upper strata of society to the middle and lower strata is wonderful world of characters he has built up like shudraka in his mrachakatikam so this is the main theme a very complicated network is knit with a master mind by vishakdatta in this play vishakdatta's intellect i may say that almost equals that of chanakya uh, as if chanakya has designed the whole plot vishakdatta has imagine the mind of chanakya designing the whole plot and the, the the story of course occurs in some puranas and in brahat katha also we do not know from where vishakdatta borrowed it or because he belonged to royal family the royal families might be having the records of the earlier histories the kings used to maintain such records so he might be knowing through family tradition the history of mori vansha the history of chanakya who uh, who saw to it that chandragupta is made the king so <clears throat> if he narrate the whole incidents incidents of this play one by one act wise then we may get confused that there is a plethora of uh, incidents a very complicated network knit together incidents knit together and the whole narrative is very thrilling one after the other the incidents happen in such a way that we are wonderstruck with the amazing skills of chanakya so the the play starts with the arrival of chandragupta in patalik putra and his he being installed as a king in the chanakya serial the last some of the last episodes they are based on mudra rakshasa and we may refer to the way the whole episode has been taken up there and <clears throat> chandragupta has entered as a victor in the palace in the royal palace of uh, magadha vishak the rakshasa the, the amatya minister of the last king of nanda vansha had of course fled away he had to leave pataliputra he left his family in the house of chandan dasa his friend who was a merchant and had to leave pataliputra he encamped somewhere near pataliputra and then he is making plans to for the destruction of chanakya and chandragupta so he had placed a shooter an archer to kill chandragupta and a mahout to assassinate him by trampling him under the a feet of uh, an elephant but instead of chandragupta the assassins themselves get killed because uh, chanakya is uh, very watchful he is observing what is happening in pataliputra and he has own sources he has his own sources rakshasa tries to poison chandragupta and the vaidya who gives the oushadha mixed with poison 
चंद्रगुप्त चाणक्य सेंसेस हैड द प्रीमोनिशन एंड चाणक्य मेक्स हिम ड्रिंक द सेम औषधा सो द ग्रेट वेद्य डाइस इज कंपेर्ड टू ड्रिंक द सेम पॉइजन एंड ही डाइज ऑन द स्पॉट राक्षसा सेज महान खलु विज्ञान राशि उपरत है ए ग्रेट साइंटिस्ट ए ग्रेट मास्टर ऑफ आयुर्वेदा हैज डाइट इलेमेंट्स सो then a group is met to hide in chandragupta's bedroom and uh, chanakya spots some ants pipilikas walking on the wall so he immediately burns the floor and detects the hidden enemies who themselves are burned so all these things are happening they are reported in the first act uh, and in the second act of mudra rakshasa and uh, <coughs> then another important character in the play is malai ketu he is the son of parvat ketu so parvat ketu has been killed through a vishakanya who was actually sent to kill chandragupta in chanakya serial parvat parvat uh, this parvateshwar mm-hmm. has been presented as a as a very as a, as a rather prominent character and some of the episodes are devoted to him and uh, in mudra rakshasa of course he doesn't appear at all so there are some differences maybe for mass appeal and for popularities they presented this parvateshwar uh, in a in a colorful way and vishakha datta has no room for such characters in the structure of his play <clears throat> then the use of vishkanya of course is as per the dictum of arthashastra kotilya has a chapter on the use of vishkanyas and how they are brought up how they are trained and how they are used to kill the enemy and this is exemplary uh, this is uh, very well exemplified by vishakha datta then <clears throat> uh the position of rakshasa in this way is becoming awkward day by day and his lack of experience and his weakness in the execution of plan execution of plans chanakya is a mastermind and he executes his plan mercilessly but rakshasa has his own weaknesses and uh, all his schemes to kill chandragupta cost him very heavily a uh, few innocent lives are also lost for which chanakya is not as responsible as rakshasa himself uh, is responsible then malai ketu performs the shraddha ceremony of his father his deceased father and he is distributing some ornaments after the shraddha ceremony as charity to the brahmins chanakya comes to know of it and he send his spies in the guise of brahmins and they obtained the ornaments of parvat ketu the name is parvat ketu so he obtained they obtained the ornaments of this parvat ketu being given as dakshina to the brahmins and these very ornaments are sold to rakshasa he purchases those they are they are either being sold at very low price or rakshasa is a fond of jewelry is very fond of jewelry so he purchases them so they manage chanakya manages these ornaments to be sold to rakshasa through his spies and uh, rakshasa then in one of the scenes appears wearing these very ornaments before malai ketu rakshasa is quite unaware that these ornaments belong to the deceased father of malai ketu uh, parvat ketu and uh, he willingly puts on these these very ornaments to look in a decent way before malai ketu who is a himself a king so all his his position becomes very awkward malai ketu accuses him of uh, malicious designs and the rift between rakshasa and malai ketu gets wider and wider through all these devices by chanakya nipuna ka is a really nipuna spy is a skilled seasoned uh, spy of rakshasa 
he makes a bond of friendship with Shakat Dasa, who was actually an ally of Rakshasa. So he manages to get a letter, anonymous letter written by the hand of Shakat Dasa. And that letter, of course, is used uh, in a very clever way by Chanakya. So, in the first act, this Nipunaka informs uh, Chanakya that Chandan Dasa, the merchant, is a friend of Rakshasa and the family of Rakshasa is living in his house. Shakat Dasa is also an ally of Rakshasa and Jeev Siddhi, a Jain monk, is also an ally. In Chanakya serial, they did not present uh, Jeev Siddhi as Jain monk and instead they have presented a, a Buddhist uh, monk. Uh, but Jainism was prevailing in Magadha during those days and uh, this uh, Hindu Sharma who puts up the guise of a Buddhist monk and this Jeev Siddhi who is disguised as a Kshapanaka or Jain monk, they both are friends of Chanakya actually. So they also play some key roles in the whole uh, plot, in the whole schemata of Chanakya. So Chanakya in the first act announces uh, uh, orders for the death sentence of Shakat Dasa and Chandan Dasa and expulsion of Jeev Siddhi and um, this uh, uh, Indu Sharma as, as a Buddhist monk. So the, all they are expelled and uh, uh, Siddhartha then, as per the instructions of Chanakya, is able to scare the Chandalas. He threatens the, the Chandalas who are putting, who are implied to put Shakat Dasa to uh, death sentence to hang him till their death. And he comes to Rakshasa's camp with Shakat Dasa. So Rakshasa is very much pleased with, with Siddhartha. Ka. He doesn't know that he is actually. Uh, a spy of Chanakya. He is so pleased with Siddhartha that he gives him all the ornaments which Malaiketu had gifted him. So this jewelry plays a very important role in Mudra Rakshasa. Like the ring, signet ring of Dushanta given to Shakuntala and like the jewelry of Asam Sena in Vrachakatikam. Here also the gems and jewels, they are, they, they are playing in the role of some living characters here and particularly the mudra of Rakshasa. So what happens that in the first act, this Nipunaka comes to report to Chanakya and he gives, he hands, he hands him over the signet ring of Rakshasa. Rakshasa asks him, how did you find it? So he says that I found it on the doorstep, on the main gate of Shreshti Chandandas. Some lady came out she was, she was hurriedly taking inside her young son, a small boy who must be her son. And she was shouting, don't come out, don't, don't come out. And in this hurry, this ring fell from her finger, fell on the street. So I picked it up. And this is for you, sir, he says. So Chanakya says, Nanu vaktavyam rakshasa eva asma danguli pranayi samrata. With this signet ring, rakshas has come into my grip. Very idiomatic language. Mama Anguli Pranayi Samratta. He has become a Pranayi lover of my finger. Uh, I, as I get his uh, ring which was in his finger. So, Rakshasa uses this signet ring to seal the letter and the ornaments of uh, Malai Ketu, which Malai Ketu had gifted to Rakshasa and Rakshasa gifts them to the Siddhartha and Siddhartha gets them sealed and puts them in Rakshasa's custody and then he is caught, willingly caught, going around the, roaming around the camp of Malai Ketu with this letter and the ornaments. So Malai Ketu is completely disenchanted with Rakshasa. He had made an alignment with Rakshasa for annihilation of Chanakya and Chandragupta and he was thinking that Rakshasa will help him and will install him as the king of Pataliputra Magadha 
but it appears to him that him that rakshasa is uh, hiddenly working as his enemy and through that letter which if you read it it appears that as if rakshasa is writing to chanakya he has made a secret treaty with Rak- with chanakya although no such direct indication is there somebody from somewhere writes to somebody conveying this and this all such very mysterious language was used but malay ketu understand that this is rakshasa's letter written to chanakya because it is in shakar dasa's and writing he confirms it that shakar dasa had written it shakar dasa is working as the assistant of rakshasa so all these contrivances by chanakya all the tables are turned through them against rakshasa and uh, <coughs> what happens that uh, marai ketu gets infuriated the political intrigue and rift between rakshas and malai ketu gets intensified and the seeds of suspicion sown by chanakya so brilliantly in the mind of malai ketu they start sprouting and there is one other uh, this there is another very skilled seasoned spy being used by chanakya he was earlier working with nandas but chanakya compels him to work for him this bhagurayan is his name bhagurayan is also uh, very well presented in chanakya serial and uh, the the grandeur of his personality and his cleverness also and his double thought also so bhagurayana waters the sprouts of the seed of rift sown by chanakya he entices uh, malai ketu and malai ketu is rather a simple man he comes he accepts the words of bhagurayana and these spies of chanakya one after another nipunak siddhartha su siddhartha and bhagurayana they spin tales and uh, the events take quite a different turn we can't calculate the way the events go on taking twists and turns in this play and uh, uh, ultimately what happens that uh, malai ketu now believes in a situation which was entirely impossible that rakshasa will go to pataliputra and will join pataliputra as minister rakshasa couldn't imagine this he was so loyal to nanda and he was to the nail he was fighting with chanakya he, with the, all the dangers of his life he was fighting with chanakya and he was trusting malai ketu then malai ketu uh, becomes completely aroused against him and uh, rakshasa sees that all his schemes one after another are falling apart all his friends one by one are disappearing or those whom he trusted actually they turned out to be the spies of chanakya so he is caught in the web of chanakya so cleverly designed and knit in such a masterly manner then <clears throat> ultimately rakshasa completely disillusioned and disenchanted the last thing he thinks he can do is to save the life of chandan dasa anyway uh, he he wants to save the life of chandan dasa he doesn't know how he will save he knows that chandan dasa is going to be hanged in the cemetery of pataliputra so he reaches the cemetery there are some plays which end up in the cemetery scenes bhagavati's play malti madhavam there are scenes of cemetery smashana and bhagavati says that this whole world is like smashana smashana sadrsham jagat jirna aranyam smashana sadrsham so the cemetery is smashana is presented very symbolically in vachakatikam also charudatta is being carried to cemetery and from there he regains his life he gets a new life the um, um, the you can say a, a kind of a hero in mudra rakshasa rakshasa also he is ultimately going to cemetery and to save the 
life of his trusted and loyal friend chandan dasa who risked his own life but didn't disclose the whereabouts of the family of rakshasa he accepted the death sentence chanakya threatened him for life and he being a merchant he he behaved very humbly but he didn't bend such great characters are there in mudra rakshasa so this chandan dasa is being carried for death sentence his wife is weeping his son is weeping just like rohsen and dhuta in vachakatikam very pathetic scene and rakshasa reaches the cemetery then he doesn't have any recourse there is no chance to save chandan dasa by showing any bravery he understand that he is surrounded by the spies by the allies of chanakya and chanakya himself is watching he knows that now rakshasa is coming he will reach the cemetery where chandan dasa is going to be hanged he chanakya would not actually get him hanged he didn't want shakat dasa to be hanged he by his will he doesn't kill anybody but some persons are killed in all these political uh, ploys and chanakya really wants to save some of these characters so these uh, characters are ultimately saved also they are they, they are great characters ultimately rakshasa surrenders before chanakya and this is what this was what chanakya wanted he wanted rakshasa he admired rakshasa he admired his loyalty the way he appreciates rakshasa the words of appreciation that chanakya has for rakshasa throughout the play he doesn't appreciate anybody rakshasa and he doesn't appreciate mm. chanakya doesn't appreciate anybody mm. only rakshasa is appre- rakshasa is appreciates in very uh, very good adjectives so this is chanakya this is rakshasa in the whole story of mudra rakshasa we find the the rules the schemes and the directives of artha shastra embedded very with very creative design and it seems that uh, vishak dutta had st- studied artha shastra very closely he was a great scholar he had studied natya shastra he was well versed in several shastras and he was a great scholar poet very few poets can equal the scholarship and the heights of imagination the beauty of poetry which vishakha datta could achieve so the shatgunya niti the policy of shatgunya uh, ya nasan dvedi bhav and all these four gunas samdan dand bhed and this vishap prayog and all the uh, all the methods of dealing with an enemy uh, the international relations relationships with neighbor good kings the the arrangement of uh, employment of spies coup to lake how to get a, a a document written the wordings of the document which kotilya prescribes in artha shastra so in all these things kotilya uh, is is a source of inspiration for vishakha datta and just a chanakya might have translated his theories in his practical life whatever he conceived he designed in artha shastra he put it into practice when he fought valiantly he fought by his intellect with the nandas in the same way vishakha datta out of his out of his poetic imagination his creativity out of his creative genius he translated artha shastra into poetry into very beautiful poetry poetry that is mudra rakshasa so now it is true that there is no place for shringara ras in mudra rakshasa but what one should not assume that vishakha dutt was an unrom- unromantic person if you if we go just through some of the citations of devi chandra gupta 
which are available in Avinav Bharti, in Ramchandra Gunchandra's Natya Darpan. I have collected the citations. On the basis of these citations, you can restore the play to some extent. You can understand the development of events in each and every uh, act. Only the last act we cannot construe. That is the problem. Otherwise, uh, a sizable portion, not sizable, but uh, whatever portion is available, we can have an idea of the play. So there are very touching romantic moments between Madhav Sena and Chandragupta in this play and very intense moments between Dhruv Devi and Chandragupta. The play was not preserved because it must have become very controversial. And Prasad, when he was writing Dhruva Swamini, he was conscious that he, was, he, would, he would be subjected to great controversy. He cited Smritis after Smritis in support of his stand for Dhruva Swamini that she did the right thing to marry Chandragupta. What would that lady do? Her husband is giving her to an enemy to save himself. And to save to, to save himself from the attack of Shaka King, such a coward. Ultimately, Chandragupta took an stand. But that play, which is structured in fight, in intense fight, is equally structured in the same intensity of love. And uh, Vishakadatta was a master in portraying the double th think, the, the fervor of the feelings. So, here of course there is no room for Shangar Rasa. A very forceful uh, flow of Veera Rasa and Rodh Rasa, they go together in the whole structure. A very strong current of Veera Rasa and Rodh Rasa combined together in the dialogues of Chanakya. The wonderful thing about Mudra Rakshasa is there that uh, it, it is a play which reaches intellectual heights of creativity. And Virasa is expressed through only the dialogues of Chanakya and great experience of Virasa. What words of Chanakya? We will have some citations. And Karuna Rasa is there in the Lamentations of Rakshasa, in the Lamentations of the family of Chandan Dasa and some other characters. There are very touching moments of compassion and pity and the whole misery of life also. Bhayanaka and Vibhatsarasas are also there. The cemetery scene is there. Dread and horror is written on the faces of many characters here. So very intense moments of the feeling of terror. It is also there. And Vishakadatta uh, uh, has used a very subtle design in his characterizations. So very few dramatists use that skill in characterizations. Kalidasa of course uses that. Kalidasa is a great uh, master of uh, not only Kavya but Natya also. So a way of contrasting characters vis a vis two characters are placed like Anasuya and Priyambada like Sharangrava and Sharadvat and uh, Dushyanta and Shakuntala. So they are put in a contrast so that you can start comparing them. What a difference and what affinity. So he, he creates such pairs uh, in his characterizations. So here Vishakadatta also creates pairs between the two parties, Chanakya's party and Rakshasa's party, you can say, the allies of Chanakya and the allies of Rakshasa. In the serial Chanakya also, the, this, these alignments are depicted. It's a um, very well designed serial and the spirit of Mudra Raksha is also captured to a large extent and the whole vision of Chanakya, of course, which is revealed in Mudra Rakshasa. So that is also uh, built in there. So we go to slide number four on the side of Chanakya. Chandragupta is there, a disciple, having complete faith in his Guru. Then Nipunaka, Siddharthaka, Susiddharthaka, Siddharthaka and Susiddharthak, they are shown in 
चाणक्य सीरियल आल्सो एंड लाइक पर्वत केतु सिद्धार्थ का एज कैरेक्टर इज आल्सो ब्लो ऑन ए लिटिल बिट आउट ऑफ प्रपोर्शंस एंड सम ऑफ द एपिसोड्स आर गिवन टू हिम मुद्रा दी विशा दी आथर ऑफ मुद्रा राक्षसा वुड नॉट डू दैट ही हैज केप्ट ए सटल बैलेंस इन इन द होल पोर्ट्रेयल ऑफ एंड प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स सो दे ओनली अपीयर फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ चाणक्य दे डोंट हैव देयर ओन इंपॉर्टेंस यू कांट प्रेजेंट देम एज इफ in one single episode or in one act they will assume any importance chanakya is the over towering figure so they are puppets dancing in his hand he is the sutradhara so all these spies they are lovely characters wonderful characters but they appreciate chanakya and they willingly play in his hands they are proud of becoming his puppets they are happy they appreciate what an intellect and what the height of insight and thought so this siddharthak so siddharthak bhagurayana is also a wonderful character and his uh, his dilemma and uh, the way he proceeds in the play he saves himself and ultimately he he works for chanakya and saves the kingdom also he becomes an instrument in the annihilation of malai ketu and uh, bringing up bringing back chanakya to kingdom then indu sharma and jeev siddhi all these are the they are in the party of uh, chanakya and in chanakya serial one pratihari shonottara has has been given some prominence and uh, it's a good creation that lady the way they have presented in vishak datta shonottara the name shonottara is there of the pratihari but she doesn't play any key role here on the other hand contrasted with chand chanakya it should be chanakya sorry so contrasted with chanakya rakshasa is there contrasted with chandragupta malay ketu is there chandragupta has complete faith in chanakya he surrenders completely out of his shraddha for his guru he even quarrels with his guru at his instructions that you have to make a kratrim kala with me and chanakya reaches such heights of rage that chandragupta wonders whether he is actually cursing me out of rage or this is a, this is an artificial um, fight between us uh, and he is uh, almost terrorized by chanakya but he obeys the orders of chanakya that we will have a kut uh, yuddha we will have a kratrim kala banauti ladai we will have between us to to trap rakshasa to make him believe that we are we are no more a party we have parted with each other and rakshasa becomes happy that his scheme has worked he informs malai ketu that my scheme is working i have created a rift between uh, chandragupta and rakshasa and then malai ketu understand it in a different light that by creating a rift between chandragupta and chanakya rakshasa wants to grab the office of the minister which chanakya is holding so malai ketu doesn't have faith in rakshasa he doesn't believe in him eventually and he is not a disciple of rakshasa rakshasa is not a, not a great guru like chanakya and contrasted with the spies of chanakya nipuna siddharthak su siddharthak virat gupta karambhak karbhak sorry and bhasurak these are the spies of uh, rakshasa they are good persons clever persons they have faith in rakshasa they admire rakshasa but they are not as seasoned as chanakya's spies are and they do not believe in rakshasa as the spies of chanakya believe in him chanakya the spies now have an understanding that this man has to be believed he can do anything so this is the difference this is the contrast and through this contrast vishak datta creates these characters great characters are there like shakat dasa very small person you see but as a man of character chandan das like uh, the merchant family in vrachakatikam who have noble character 
Here Chandan Das is such a great noble character. He sacrifice. He is ready to sacrifice his own life to save the wife and the child of Rakshasa. And Rakshasa loves this. He is a very lovable personality. So Rakshasa's character is very well presented in in the same way in Chanakya serial also. So <clears throat> about Chanakya, wonderful thing is this that he appears. as a, like an iron man throughout the play but we realize ultimately that he has a very soft heart he has immense love and affection for chandragupta the, the way he treats chandragupta he always calls him rashala that is the word for shudra actually and uh, he has such a love, such, a, such a such an affection for chandragupta and the same feeling of great admiration for rakshasa also whom outwardly he, he calls a duratma duratma again and again there are soliloquies great soliloquies in mudra rakshasa by chanakya he he is he is outburst uh, or he is out spoken in his in this out outburst but Ra, Ra, chanakya has many personalities hidden inside so a great intellectual insight and a great uh, compassionate person inside so this this is the character of chanakya which when we reach at the end we find revealed layer by layer before us and the confidence of chanakya he has immense confidence in himself he speaks out of his confidence that nobody can equal him uh, the way he will do he acts and he carries out his schemes he says that he is getting a letter written and mentioning five kings which are to be slaughtered which will be ultimately slaughtered by malai ketu out of his misunderstanding malai ketu comes to believe that these kings are also uh, conspiring against him so naman yesham likhami dhruvama maduna chitragupta pramarshtu in this letter i am getting the names of these five kings written and if chitragupta dares to erase these names let him try to erase them my writings cannot be erased even by yamaraj or chitragupta this is his confidence he says eka kevala marth sadhana vidhau sena shate bhyodika nandon mulana drashta virya mahima buddhistu ma gan mama let my intellect never leave me let my intelligence never forsake me the intellect which excels the hundreds of armies and the might of which has been proven in the destruction of the whole nanda family everybody may go nipunak informs him that this man is also gone this man is also gone he calls he knows that they have left but he asks him to call this man that man and every time he informs that he has gone out of the city he has gone out of the city chanakya is happy because that was his scheme that they will leave and join the camp of rakshasa as his spies so he says that let them go whoever wants to go only my intellect should not go and i will manage everything with my intellect only we see him burning with rage always against rakshasa so he is such a character that outwardly he is shown as burning with rage inwardly he is appreciating admiring loving uh, rakshasa so this is the character of chanakya a very complicated character also you can say and great hero you can say i feel that he is a liberated soul only a liberated soul would function that way and vishakadatta has created this character as if vishakadatta himself is seeing the whole drama of life and he is seeing the drama which is being created by chanakya out of his intellect and the drama unfolds and chanakya is the mastermind which creates this drama and vishakadatta recreates the whole drama which chanakya has created and ultimately every rakshasa uh, ultimately chanakya is the great sutradhara of the whole play and vishakadatta is the mastermind who can create this sutradhara who can become such a great mastermind so i will cite uh and stranger 
from the rakshasa bhagurayan is a very intelligent person and he appreciates chanakya he was an ally of rakshasa but eventually he admires chanakya he is being an intelligent person and you see what a close study of shastras in the poetry so we go to slide number 5 मुहुर लक्ष्योद्भेदा मुहुरति गमा भाव गहना मुहु संपूर्णांगी मुहुरति कृषा कार्यवशतः मुहुर नश्यत बीजा मुहुरपि बहु प्रापित फले त्यहो चित्राकारा नियति रिवनी तिरनय विदा ए वेरी गुड शिखरणी मीटर विद फ्लो एंड रिदमिक पैटर्न एंड भागुरायणा सेस अहो चित्राकारा नय विदा नीति इट शुड बी नय विदा इन द लास्ट लाइन सो इट्स अ टाइप ऑफ चित्राकार नीति नय विद वाट ए वंडरफुल पॉलिसी ऑफ दैट पेन हु नोज दि वेज हु नोज दि नीति एंड मुहूर्त लक्ष्योदेदा फर्स्ट लाइन समटाइम्स इट्स एम इज क्लियरली विजिबल दैट दिस इज दि मिशन दिस इज दि लक्ष्य नाउ इट विल बी अचीव्ड देन सडनली मुहूर्त अधिगमा भाव गहना देन इट बिकम्स इंस्क्रूटिबल गहन ड्यू टू एबसेंस ऑफ एनी ट्रेस you can't trace where is that laksha for which we have been deployed employed so this, this is a very mysterious way of chanakya doing things nobody can map it out mu sampurnangi sometimes it seems complete in its itself that now everything is settled now it will be achieved again mu murapi bahu prapit phala mu rati krsha karya varshata second line again only a fragment of it appears atikrasha karyavashata but there is some purpose in making it so thin and invisible mur nashyat bija sometimes the very foundation the very seed of it is of it is lost and mur api bahu prapita phala then again the seed which was invisible suddenly gets sprouted and it starts yielding phala profuse results bahu phala and this is the variegated policy or niti of this master designer which is like destiny of human life itself nobody can calculate his or her own destiny in the same way nobody can calculate the designs of this master mind which is chanakya now a little bit about rakshasa's character contrasted to chanakya's character he is very passionate he is he feels the pangs of saro and uh, his concern for nanda family to remain loyal to nanda family his concerns for his friends chanakya has only concern for his mission for the for the vision of the country he doesn't care for an individual affection he might be having for chandragupta but his ultimate vision his concern is for the welfare of the whole society for the whole nation which he expresses very beautifully in some of the verses in mudra rakshasa we will uh, go through them uh, only some of them and we shak datta the poetic heights which he reaches there rakshasa doesn't have that, that vision he is full of affection and compassion and love and he is a politician he has a shrewd mind himself but not equal to chanakya so he feels his inferiority सेवेयम मम चित्र कर्म रचना भित्तिम बिना वर्तते इट इज इट शुड बी भित्ति सो होल ऑफ माय पेंटिंग इज विदाउट कैनवास आई हैव पेंटेड ए पिक्चर बट कैनवास इज एब्सेंट सो माय स्कीम्स आर फेलिंग विदाउट एनी फाउंडेशन अनिश्चयात गजवशेव भीतया गता गते ध्रुवमे ध्रुवमे खिद्यते श्रिया दिस इज द रिमार्क ऑफ वन ऑफ हिज स्पाइस अबाउट द राजलक्ष्मी which is which sometimes goes to rakshasa's side and sometimes comes to chandragupta's side so like and like a she elephant for whom two elephants are fighting so she is going to one elephant side sometimes or going to an, another elephant side sometimes so in this way the tussle between rakshasa and chanakya is goes on but rakshasa curses his fate is condemns the lakshmi which is which is abused which has abused herself 
So this is the way of characterization and the way of portrayal by Rakshasa and uh, uh, coming to some of the stanzas through which Vishakadatta has created a samplav or a sammard of diverse emotions, a, a confluence of various variegated emotions. In last lecture, I talked, talked about Rasa Vyatikara, Rasa Sammard, which Bharat Muni describes that a single Ras uh, doesn't occur in great drama or in great pieces of uh, art. So, they are mixed together. Many bhavas, many rasas are mixed together. So, Vishakadatta creates that confluence of several vivichari bhavas in the utterances of Rakshasa, Nirved, Glani, Ashanka, Asuya, Shram, Dhrati, Mati, all these come and go, mix up together. And uh, there, is, there are witty remarks, Ukti Pratyukti, Vako Vakya, which we say. So, Mayapi Asmin Vastuni Shayane Nanas Thiyate. Such idiomatic phrases he uses in the mouths of his uh, characters, particularly Chanakya. Chanakya says that on this matter I am not sleeping. The Mayapi Asmin Vastuni Shayane Nanas Thiyate. When this Nipunaka informs him that uh, this uh, Shakat Dasa is an ally of Rakshasa, he is, uh, he is also working against our site, the Kayastha Shakat Dasa. Chanakya says, Kayasthiti lagvi matra. Kayastha is a small issue. So, this is a good phrase used by Chanakya. Kayasthiti lagvi matra. The Kayasthas were employed as writers, copies. And Chanakya, uh, this uh, Shakat Dasa had uh, very good handwriting. Rakshasa and the Nanda kings employed him as, as writer. Kings used to employ writers uh, for making copies of the documents or for taking dictations. Uh, Kotilya describes the lekhakas. Lekhaka here means the one who copies the documents, one who takes uh, dictations. So he is a small person, but Chanakya says, Tathapi na shakyam prakratam api ripum upekshitam. But it, it, it is not proper for me to neglect even, even such a small uh, enemy, a small person as enemy. If he is my enemy, then I, I will have to annihilate him also. Then, very appropriate use of pataka sthanakas in the terminology of Natya Shastra. Pataka sthanak occurs when two characters are facing each other. One character is thinking something different, another is thinking some, something different, and what, what they are saying gets matched together. That is construed in another way. The reply of the other character by some other design gets aligned to the thinking of this character uh, in a very uh, interesting way. So Chanakya in his thought process is thinking how to grab, how to take Rakshasa in my grip. So aside he says, to himself he says, Api nama Duratma Rakshaso Grayeta. Will that Duratma, will that wicked Rakshasa come in my grip? So Api nama. Duratma Rakshaso Grahiyata, he is talking to, talking to himself. This Siddhartha, actually he is Siddhartha. So his Siddhartha is not listening to him, but suddenly he remarks, Ari Grahita. Sir, I got it. I got it. So Chanakya takes it to understand that Rakshasa is, I have caught. So this in this way, several plays use this Pataka Sthanak type of way to make their dialogues very interesting. Janakya is happy that he said that, yes, he is caught. He takes the, the dialogue the, the other way around. But he asked him uh, about whom you are talking. Bhadra Koyam Grahita, what have you caught? Siddhartha says, Grahita Ari Sandesha. I caught your message. I got your message. I caught your message in my mind. So, see, double meanings, uh, puns on the words, these things make... Uh, the play interesting. We will have some examples of the uh, very robust uh, phrases, language, the power of language, particularly in the utterances of Chanakya. So, 
स्लाइड नंबर एट वेन चाणक्य मेक्स इज फर्स्ट एंट्री केयरिंग दैट चंद्रा इज गोइंग टू बी एक्लिप्सड सो एक्चुअली सूर्यधारा एन नटी इन प्रस्तावना इन प्रोडक्ट दे आर टाकिंग ऑफ एन ऑफ ए मून एक्लिप्स सो क्रूर ग्रह सकेतु द क्रूर ग्रह विथ सके क्रूर ग्रह राहु विथ केतु इज गोइंग टू इन गल्फ चंद्रा देर इज देर इज गोइंग टू बी एन एक्लिप्स दे आर टाकिंग अबाउट दैट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द पन ऑन द वर्ड्स चंद्रा एंड केतु चाणक्य हु इज टू मेक हिज एंट्री इन द फर्स्ट टेक्ट ओवर हियर्स दे आर फ्रेजर्स इन ही गेट्स इन रेस्ड एंड आस हु इज दैट पर्सन हु डेयर्स टू इन गल्फ चंद्रा चंद्रा हियर मीन्स चंद्रगुप्ता हिज डिसाइपल सो ही से दिस इज ए वेरी फेमस स्टेंजर सो अभी सिंस मुद्रा राक्षसा हैज बीन इन आवर करिकुला सो मैनी ऑफ आवर स्टूडेंट्स स्कॉलर्स दे नो दीज स्टेंजर्स वेरी पावरफुल स्टेंजर्स आस्वादित विरद शोणित शोण शोण संध्या ऋणामिव कलाम शशलांचन से द्रंभा विदारित मुखस् मुखा स्फुरती को हर्तुमिछति हरे परिभूय धनश्राम सच पावरफुल लैंग्वेज सच चैलेंजिंग टोन दिस इज ओजस दि ओ क्वालिटी ऑफ ओजस इन वीर रसा यू से हु डेयर्स टू फोर्सिबली एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम दि माउथ ऑफ ए यानिंग लॉइन जम्भा विदारित मुखस् हरे मुखात दंश्राम को हर्तुम इच्छति दिस इज दि मेन सेंटेंस हु डेयर्स टू फोर्सिबली एक्सट्रैक्ट दि डंश्रा और दि टूथ दि टूथ फ्रॉम दि माउथ ऑफ ए यानिंग सन एंड दि फायरी टूथ विच इज संध्या ऋणाम व कलाम शशलांचन से पोइटिक इमेजरी ब्यूटिफुल कलरफुल इमेजरी विच आकर्स इन मेनी पैसेजेज इन मुद्रा राक्षसा इज ए पोएट ऑफ ए ग्रेट इमेजिनेशन सो दि फायर दि दि फायरी टूथ विच इज रेडन बाय दि ब्लड ऑफ द इलिफेंट जस्ट टेस्टेड द लॉयन हु एज किल्ड द इलिफेंट एंड द ब्लड ऑफ दैट लॉयन इज स्टक इन दैट डस्ट्रा और टूथ एंड हु डेयर्स टू टेक दैट टूथ आउट एंड दैट डस्ट्रा दैट टूथ इज शाइनिंग लाइक द डिजिट ऑफ द मून सो उपमा विद इन एन उपमा दिस इज ए वेरी टिपिकल टेक्निक वेरी फ्यू पोएट्स डू दैट सो समाइम्स रूपक विद इन रूपक समटाइम्स उपमा विद इन उपमा सो दिट जम्भा इज संध्या रुणा एंड इट इज लाइक द कला डिजिट ऑफ मून ऑल्सो एंड दैट जम्भा इज अगेन ए मेटाफर फॉर दी वेलियंट्स ऑफ चाणक्य With whom, with which he is protecting, Chandragupta. So, this is the imagery. We come to slide number nine. Equally good imagery and powerful imagery. Nanda kula kal bhujigim, kopala la bahal la lo la dhu ma la tam. Adhyapi badhya manam bad. Adhyapi badhya manam badhya. Ko ne chati shikham me. Chana kya many times he makes his entry. touching his untied knot he had he had taken a vow not to tie his untied tuft so uh, he has taken a vow not that until he has annihilated the nanda family he will not he will not tie his tuft his shikha and in chanakya serial they have used this he, he, it for his vow to save the nation that is a contemporary good interpretation a very uh, proper uh, presentation significant presentation you can say in mudra rakshasa also all these hints are there chanakya's concern for uh, for the whole country but here he expresses his wrath his anger and he says that tuft of my crest is deadly snake for the nanda's family nand kul kal bhujgi it is the deadly snake for nanda's family and kopanal bahal lol dhum lata it is the black thickening line of smoke emanating from the fire of my anger you see a complicated rupak alankara but wonderful imagination 
then who is this person who is who dares to die and who does not want to see my tuft being tight even today adhyapi badhyamana now i am to tie my tuft but who is there who doesn't want it to to be tight so these are these and the, the scholarship of vishakha datta combined with his heights of imagination this makes uh, this this uh, is a rare achievement also so vishakha datta shows his mastery of uh, the study of natya shastra and how he weaves in the categories of natya shastra and how he understands the structure of a drama as the structure of his own play so the structure of his own play in the form of five sandhis five avasthas and five artha prakritis and the structure created by chanakya through these very avasthas he compares them both in in one of the stanzas and he compares the whole schemata of mudra rakshasa to the shastra categories also so this is the stanza how the vada categories apply to the whole design of the play so in this way uh, he, he is an intellectual poet skilled and seasoned poet equally tender hearted and having a very good imagination so we go to slide number 10 sadhya nishchita manvayana ghatitam vibhrat sapakshe sthitam vya sapakshe sthitim vyavrattam cha vipakshato bhavati yat tas sadhanam siddhai yat sadhyam swayame va tulyam bhayo pakshe viruddham cha yat tasyaangi karnena vadi neva syat swamino nigraha if in the audience here if those who have joined this program if anybody has studied nyay shastra you can see that the whole nyay shastra is here vadi prativadi sadhya sadhan paksh sapaksh these categories and how brilliantly vishakha datta has understood them in the light of the whole schemata of his own play that vadi and prativadi in the form of chanakya and and uh, rakshasa and a great debate is going on between them so this is the sadhya this is the sadhana and this is the paksha and pratipaksha all these all these are the categories of debate vad shastra under nyaya so rakshasa and rakshasa it is actually the dialogue from rakshasa rakshasa is also a great scholar so he says that my fight with chanakya has become so complicated with my disputant so i am a vadi he is a pratibadi or he is a vadi i am a pratibadi that sadhana has a double meaning sadhana is the linga in nyaya shastra ling paramarsho anumanam the the karan or sadhan in nyaya shastra for anumana and sadhan also means army we all know that sadhan is the word, word sadhan is used for army so sadhan means army and the province in the debate alone leads to success if sadhan is there then they, then there will be lingi or anumana and if sadhan means army is there then you will achieve your goal so which has sadhya aim provendam also which has and established uh, which has established anvaya unity and perfection of five member syllogism pratigya hetu upnay drashtante nigman so vishakha datta understand these subtle categories so how the nyaya shastra can be interpreted or you can interpret the whole play in the terminology of nyaya shastra so you can create a discourse of criticism for interpreting an epic or a play how these categories pratigya hetu upnay drashtante nigman and paksha pratipaksha and sadhan and sadhya they can be applied to a literary discourse also vishakha datta understands this what a wonderful Uh, apparatus for a criticism he has given here so i will not read the vipaksha and sadhya all these are there and uh, like a debate uh, like a debater or disputant the king is routed as a dis- disputant is routed in a debate an enemy is routed in his fight in his fight uh, so the, the, the war field is compared to the field of debate so all these things vishakha the vishakha datta's conception we get and uh, the stanza which i was uh, pointing out there's uh, we are running short of time again 
So he refers to the avasthas, artha prakritis and sandhis of the Natya Shastra and how they actually go in the life of Rakshasa and Chanakya because all these avasthas and sandhis are conceived out of human life, out of the world and they are uh, categorized in the structure of drama, in the, in the framework of Natya, in the, in the Shastri framework of Natya also. So, if the parallels Vishak Dutta sees, Karyakshepa Madhu Tanu Abhirachan, so there is no time to read the whole stanza. See, Upakshepa Parikar, uh, all these, the Bij Bindu Pataka Prakri, all these, the categories of Natya Shastra, how in my play they are running through the workings of Chanakya, this Vishak Dutta points out. And the way he weaves some of the very intense moments of feeling, in Rakshasa's life. So the last scene, a, an environment of such a sad, sadness, depression and uh, disappointment is created. And when Rakshasa comes in seventh head, so he sees the cemetery. The cemetery has a dilapidated building, a house which must have been in good shape sometimes, but now it is all ruined. So Ipar Yastam Saudham, it is Saudha. Swipar yastam saudham kulam yo maharam bharachanam. Again, Shikharani Chanda. Very tender and karuna. Uh, its ability to express karuna feelings. Uh, the tender feelings. Swipar yastam saudham kulam yo maharam bharachanam. Saraha shushkam sadhor radhayam yo nashena surada. The cemetery appears like this like a dilapidated house, which was constructed on a grand scale, Maharam Varachanam. And the family of Nanda, which was as great, now it has uh, 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 come to an end. Saraha Shushkam Sadho Radhayamiva. Like the heart of a noble person, this pond is also dried. So all the, the, the hearts of the noble persons are now disappoint, are, are in disappointment. Their feelings are drying up. In the same way, this pond in the cemetery is dried. So all these imagery, the way Rakshasa is, speaks, and Vishak Dutta weaves some very good suktis also. He is a, a master of Subhashita and suktis. Quotable quotes he creates. So many quotable quotes. So we go to slide number 12. Very beautiful stanza. Because the core of Mudra Rakshasa lies in action. Action. His message is to act for the welfare of the society. So this stanza carries, carries that message beautifully. Kim sheshasya bharavyathana vapushik kshamam nakshipatye shayat Kim vanasti parishramo dinapate rastenayan nishchala Kim tangi krata musrajan kripanava chlagyo jano lajjate niryuda pratipanna me I have forgotten and that slide is not before. Eta Digotra Pratam. So, Kim Sheshatse Bharab Vyathano Papushik Shvam Nakshipat Teshayat. First line. Is there no pain of burden in the body of Sheshnaga that he does not throw down the earth? He is holding the earth on his hoots. He must be tired sometimes, but he doesn't throw the earth away. Kimva Nasti Parishramo Dinapate Aste Nayan Nishchala. Is there no fatigue in the sun that he doesn't stop for resting? He doesn't stand motionless. He go, he, he continues to go on in the sky. Is, is he not tired? Kintuang, they are tired. Sheshnag may also be worn out of fatigue. But Kintuangi Krita Musrajan Krapanavach Shlagyo Jano Lajjate. The fact is that a man of honor, Shlagya Jana, a man who has his Self-respect would be ashamed to leave the task undertaken. Nirvudam Nirvuda Pratipannam Pastusha Satam Etat the Gotra Vratam. Fulfilling the responsibility already accepted. Nirvuda Se Pratipannatvam Etat the Satam Sajananam Gotra Vratam. Fulfilling the responsibility already accepted is the family vow of the noble people. And uh, very touching lines occur here and there. 
and uh, descriptions of the beauty of seasons are also there shri labdha prasareva dushta vanita dukho picharya vrasham what a what an expression from the side of rakshasa this raj lakshmi what a fickle minded lady she is Ra- lakshmi the royal fortune is like a prostitute very difficult to please she changes sides so all these things navasta chandante sarite eva dirgha dash disha slide number 13 the directions are flowing from sky like the rivers flowing slowly this is the description of sharad ritu there is no time to quote the whole stanza slide number 14 i would like to take up and this is the uh, you can see the theme of mudra rakshasa projected here and what an affection chanakya has for chandragupta along with that vision for nation that chandragupta has to rule that country which is spread that this vast peninsula which is spread from himalayas himalayas to the southern sea and chanakya speaks this stanza in the very act where he has to make a great quarrel with chandragupta so before making that quarrel in a very pleasing tone he is giving this blessing to chanakya okay all right we will have a quarrel to show the world that we have quarreled and we have parted away but before that i give you this blessing a great blessing from the great guru aashelendra dhamala aashelendra dach malayat antas kalita suranadi shikara sarashita sam typo is there स्खलित सुर्नदी शीकरा सारशीता तीरांतान नैकरागस पुरित मणि रुचो दक्षिन स्चारनवस्य आगत्यागत्य भीति प्रणत नपशते शश्वदेव क्रियंताम चूडारत नांशु गर्भास तव चरण युगस चांगुली रंद्रभागा Great poetry and in Ashi, it is Ashi Alankara actually and in a drama Ashi Alankara should come, Nati Shastra says but what poetry in Ashi Alankara and uh, such a beautiful blessing given by a guru may the kings from all parts of the vast peninsula bow down before you a shailendra dach malayat making their crevices in your toes shining by the luster gems studded in their crests so beautiful imagination that all the kings from different parts of this country this peninsula which is spread from shailendra to dakshina arnava let them come to you and bow down before you so that the the uh, test jewels stud in, in, in their the jewels in their crest the rays emanating from them make your make the crevices of your toe shining this is the uh, poetic imagination so and the whole country the vision of the country that there should be ekshatra rajya the country should be under one canopy this vision is also there is love for chandragupta is there so the message of mudra rakshasa is this niri hana misha stranami va tiraskara vishaya this is also the central idea the way chanakya lives so he says slide number 15 those who are niriha those who doesn't have any iha who have forsaken all their desires in hindi niri the word niriha is used for an impoverished person poor person but in sanskrit niriha would also mean a person who has no wealth who is a, a poor person but uh, etymologically niriha means uh, not having any iha not having any desire so the person who has forsaken all his desires for whom kings become objects of contempt like a straw tranami va tiraskar vishaya isha isha is for king even the royal persons or ishas they can be rebuked looked with contempt by him because the the persons working under chandragupta they are many times amazed to see how chanakya abuses 
even Chandragupta and many other persons. But they see that he is living in a dilapidated house. Like a poor person he is living. Even if he is the minister, what, what, what to call him a minister? He is actually the king maker. He can dethrone kings after kings. He can annihilate many kings. And he is living in a small uh, old house. And the Kanchuki and the servants have to, every time they have to rush to his house in that part of the city. They are sent as messenger by Chandragupta, go to my guru and tell him this and that. Uh, and please call him because Chandragupta has to make a quarrel, an artificial quarrel, uh, uh, a fake quarrel with his guru. So he summons, he sends a, an envoy to call his guru. So this stage also we have no time to talk about the theater like uh, Mrachakatika, it says a vast canvas, canvas and uh, Matvarnis are maybe one, Matvarnis are there on one corner, Chandragupta's court scene is there on one corner, uh, Chanakya's small house, his old house is there. In Chanakya serial they had presented him, presented him living in the royal palace, sitting on the seat and with a with a artificial device of opening the 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 stand hand stand so that is their construction maybe but in mudra rakshasa we find that chanakya chose to live in his old house when they returned to pataliputra and uh, whosoever visits his house that great person wonders that such a great man is living in this house he doesn't move away he, he doesn't come to the palatial mansion, he would live in this house. So, Kanchuki, when he visits this house, he says that, okay, he is such a person that he can rebuke his niri. He doesn't have any property, but he, he has forsaken all his desires. And ultimately, we will have this very beautiful stranger. Uh, no other drama would have a stranger like this, that a great person is living in this house. And this is the description. In slide number 16, Upanishakalametat bhedakam gomayanam patubirupuratanam bharisham stomayesha sharanam api samidbhi shushyamana abhiravis shushyamana abhiravir vinamita patalantam drashyate jirna kudyam Malini, the Malini Chand is there, which is used by Mahim Bhatt, um, in, in Shiva Mahimna Stotra. So, <coughs> very rhythmic, and a tender type of chandas, which is used for the description of Chanakya's house. Upanishakala metad bhedakam gomayana. On one side, there is this piece of stone, which is used to break the dry pieces of cow dung. So the heaps of dried cow dung are lying outside in a corner of the house. The stone is there with which they are broken and used as fuel or maybe as fertilizer or anything and, and the cow must be there because cow dung is there, so cow is there. Patubi Rupatanam Parisham Stoma Esha. On the other side, there is the heap of Kusha grass collected by the disciples. He is still teaching his disciples. His disciples are there. They bring the Samidha and Kusha, the grass also. The morning lessons are there. The rituals are per being performed. So the Samidhas are there, Kushas are there. Sharanam api samidbhi shushyam anabhi rabhir vinamita patalantam drashyate jirna kudyam This jirna kudya, the broken walls of this old house, they, the corner of the roofs are bending with the burden of the sacrificial wood that is kept for drying over there. In the rainy season, the wood is wet. So on the roof, they have put in the lofts of the roof, they have put the woods for drying and because of the weight of that wood, the, the walls are bending. So, th this description, every graphic description with minute observation of Chanakya's house indicates his daily routine, his life his style and the culture. So the cultural values, they are all also there. And uh, 
Last day, I will make a few remarks about Mudra Rakshasa in performance. There is no occasion to show the photographs of Mudra Rakshasa in theater. Several great directors performed Mudra Rakshasa in Sanskrit, in Hindi, in Marathi, in English. It was presented in Germany, uh, uh, in, in Weimar conference, in several places, performances of Mudra Rakshasa are uh, presented and Vijaya Mehta is a well-known theatre director. I saw her performance in Marathi. As per the Natishastra designs of theatre, it was a good performance and it was an experience to see it in Sanskrit where Kamlesha Tripathi plays the role of Chanakya. Good performance, good rendering of the whole play in Sanskrit. As per the Natishastra tenets, then there are great directors who rendered it into Indian dialects in Chhattisgadi, in Nacha style by Habib Tanvir. Wonderful creation of Mutra Rakshasa. Mrachikatik also Habib Tanvir did in Chhattisgadi, in Nacha style. So the folk theatre adopting Sanskrit plays and it creates a, a different kind of theatric experience. And uh, in Kalidas Samaro of Ujjaini, several performances of Mrachikatik and Mutra Rakshas, Shakuntal also, so they we have been seeing them so there is a no, there is a now a possibility of re-establishing sanskrit theater unfortunately we this the scholarly world is not paying that attention to it and uh, it remains a neglected field natyashastra and natyashastra and Nat, sanskrit natak from that point of view remains neglected uh, but okay it is our world and our life. With this, I come, I come to the closer of this lecture. Thank you very much.